Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to share how I go about diagnosing and fixing sound issues on a Game Boy Color. My method is not the only method, but it works well for me. Here, I have a Game Boy Color that I previously fixed the sound on, but still needs more work. The volume still is not at its full volume. And I'm gonna work on this. And uh, just before I start, if you find this video useful, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Start by obviously taking the whole thing apart to get them get to the motherboard. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with this one, I'll just speed through it. Okay, so we're down to the motherboard now. The three main components that deal with the sound are the headphone jack, the volume wheel, potentiometer, and this capacitor deals with it. So previously when I repaired this uh, Game Boy Color, I did change the speaker because the speaker was rusted and there was no sound coming at all. After I changed the speaker, there is sound. The sound is not scratchy. If it was scratchy, then I could uh, put uh, isopropyl alcohol through here, through into the gaps of the Patanchi motor and give it a few rotations to clean it up. But this wheel is not scratchy. You'd be able to hear the sound is scratchy when you're turning it if there was a problem with that. So I believe there's no problem with this uh, because it does go all the way to zero and it's smooth going up. And when you're dealing with the headphone jack, let me zoom into that a bit. Inside the jack, there is a, a contact that comes into contact when you remove the headphone jack to complete the circuit. And when you put a headphone jack in, it removes the, the speaker from the circuit so that no sound comes from the speaker anymore. Let me put in a pair of headphones. I'll try and zoom this in a bit. When you put it in, you will see a metal contact that moved to the left. So one thing you could do is use something that's sharp to clean it from the inside. For example, this tweezers got really sharp pointy points. You can get in there give it a scrape, any oxidation or any any kind of corrosion but I also I don't think this is the problem I've already checked this and also to clean this you can just spray isopropyl alcohol inside there and give it a good scrub with a brush of some kind In this Game Boy Color, I've already cleaned out uh, the headphone jack and I've used uh, isopropyl alcohol to clean out this wheel. So the only thing left for me to try is to replace this capacitor. And since I'll be changing this capacitor, I'm just going to check them, change all of them. There's no point just changing one. If one is bad, the rest are likely to be on the way out as well. Okay, so before I begin, let's uh, do a test beforehand so that we can see any difference. 
after doing the repair. Point the speaker up and when we're done the repair, I'm also going to do it in the same way. We're just li listening for the intro jingle from Nintendo. So this is at full volume with the maximum volume. Okay, so this is our control. We will compare after I've changed the con uh, capacitors. Okay, so to remove this uh, capacitor, the best way is probably to use a hot air station, but I don't have that. So the way I do it, or like to do it, just using a pair of pliers, just holding it gently and slightly twisting it until the legs get weak and they just break off. There you go, clean break. Traces are not damaged at all. And it's the easiest way since we're not going to keep the capacitor anyway. Let's just get a bit rid of it like that. Then we can just clean off the area. If there was a, one of the bits of the legs on there to take it off. There we go. Add a little bit of flux. And put a little bit of fresh solder on there. Here I got the replacement capacitor for that. When changing capacitors, what you want to do is keep the same capacitance rating, but you can have a higher voltage rating, not lower. So example, if you got 100 microfarad 5 volt capacitor, you can change it with a 100 microfarad 10 volt capacitor and that's still okay, but not a 3 volt or 2 volt. And then also, you want to take care of the polarity as well. So you can see there is a plus here and a minus here. And on these type of capacitors, the minus is the side with the black stripe or whichever color, there will be a stripe. So this capacitor goes in this direction. So when placing it, just gonna place it on there and apply slight pressure. Let it get tacked onto there. That's on there bring it closer to the middle a bit because it's not And that's it. As it is done strong, give it a chance to cool down, and then we'll do a test again, see if that's fixed the problem. Okay, so now I'm gonna test it again with the speaker in the similar location, then we can see if it has fixed the audio level. Make sure it's on full volume. I'll test again. Oh, 
okay and I'm gonna change out the other capacitors off camera and then we'll carry on from there okay so I've changed all the capacitors and now I'm just gonna put it back together I won't bore you with that we'll speed through there as well All right, so that's the Game Boy's capacity is replaced. That's made the sound a little bit louder to me, it seems like. Let's uh, test it in a game. Yeah, sounds nice to me. Okay, so uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. And thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.